Good morning, everyone. So I am sitting in the spare bedroom right now. I am getting ready to start a project that I've been wanting to do for so long, and that is painting this room. This is a just a spare bedroom that we have in this, in this house. I still call this the new house, even though we've been here for a few years. Um, but we have this spare bedroom here and I've been wanting to paint it and I decided to take a little bit of time today and try to start the process of painting this room. Um, I've gone through and decluttered a lot of stuff. I was able to actually um, give a lot of my thrifted gifts to people this year and a lot of the gifts had just been stored in this room. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to go through and do a little painting and I thought I would take you guys with me today. This will just be part one. There's going to be probably so many parts in this series. Um, but I just wanted to share with you the process. So let me get the paint and I will show you what color we are going to be using. And if you like videos like this and you'd like to see more videos of like home re like renovations, room makeovers, that kind of stuff, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I don't remember if I've said my name is Kieran. Um, if you don't know, my channel used to be called Thrifted Living and now I have the channel called Kieran McKenzie because I want to share more, um, more different parts of my life more than thrifting um, and so I just changed it to my name. So let me share with you what the paint looks like. So I first actually thought maybe I should give you guys a little bit of a look as to what the room looks like. I thought that could be helpful. So this is the current color of the wall. It's a really, I mean it's a pretty yellow but it's just not our style. Um, I think that the previous owners had this as a nursery but I have that curtain that's falling down. I have to fix that. This is what the room looks like right now. They did have some like wall decals for a while. Um, and sometimes if you look at it in just the right lighting, you can still kind of see the outline of like a tree. I think they had like a giraffe and things like that. So um, excited to paint this space over here. This is actually a garage sale pile. I'm pretty proud of myself. All of this stuff is going to be going to a garage sale. Um, and then again, over here, uh, just like it is a pretty bright color, but it's just not really our style. So this is the color of the paint we are going to be using. It is called, oh my goodness, I can't remember, Olive Grove. And it's really, really pretty. We really like it. It actually looks like a similar color to what we have in our living room. I'm not, I'm sorry, not in our living room, in our dining room. I know it's a different, like a totally different color, but I think it's really going to work in this space. Um, and I just think it's like a, it's a big change, but we're really excited to, um, to see how this looks. So I'm just going to start by getting everything, um, set up and I'm going to just start painting and I'll see how much I can get done today. I don't think I'm going to get the painting done today at all. We do have guests coming on Friday or Saturday. And so I kind of want this space sort of done by then, at least painted. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to see what I can get done for now and I will take you guys with me. So let's get to work. Alright, so I've gotten a little bit of taping done and I'm impatient. I want to see what this will look like. So I'm going to open up the paint. Alright, so let's see. First look. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. So we'll mix it up a little bit. We got this at Lowe's yesterday. And you know, like we kept looking at it and we were afraid that it wasn't going to be the right color, but I think it's going to be really nice. Let's get some of this other stuff out we need. Got this from Walmart, just like a like a um, paint roller set. And I also got I also got some of these paint brushes from Walmart as well. So we got a little like trim brush and we also have two rollers. Okay. I really like this color. It was like the first color Sean found and I was like it's perfect. Right, so I'm going to pour some into here. Alright, so I'll set that here. You know, I should maybe try to slide this over if I can. So I have a little bit more room. Alright, now I'm going to put the roller on here. Let's 
So let's see how this looks. I feel like I should put something on the floor so that doesn't get all the paint all over the place. I have a little bit of wrapping paper, so I'm like, maybe that would work. Just as like a thing that'll possibly catch some of the paint grips. First bit of paint. <gasps> Yay, so excited. Goodbye, yellow paint. You are very pretty, but not what we want. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. I love it. <gasps> okay, so it definitely looks green. I feel like it kind of has a gray look to it, but I know it'll look different when it dries. I like it. It's brighter than I thought it was going to be. What do you guys think? I like it. I think it really adds a lot of like, like a, just a different like tone to the, to the space, if that makes sense. Right, so let's keep on painting. everyone so it is the afternoon it's about four o'clock no it's like 4 30 i think and i've been working on the room all day and i think i'm actually going to be finished with the room today but i am running out of daylight to be able to show you guys what the room looks like so i think i'm going to share with you the after right now just so i can show you what it looks like in natural light and then i'll be able to share more later but I am really, really happy with how this is working. I really love the paint that I'm using. The person at, we went to Lowe's to get the paint and the person suggested this paint. It was a little more expensive. It was like, I wanna say either 30 or $40 a gallon, but it's like paint and primer together. And like, there are so many places in here that I am not going to need to do a second coat at all. Most of the room does not require a second coat. And that's just absolutely amazing. I don't like doing two coats of paint. It's like my least favorite thing to do. Um, I just want the project to be done. So um, this paint has gone on really easily. As you can see, there's some right here behind me. It's beautiful. Like the color is gorgeous. It fits so perfectly like in the styling of our home. Um, and like as I'm painting the room, it just, it feels like this has been the paint color forever. So I'm really, really happy with it. And I'm also really proud of myself for like working on a project and like focusing all day on something. Um, I've been doing this all day. I did take breaks to eat lunch and have snack and stuff like that. But um, I'm really proud of it. So let me just turn the camera around so you can see it a little better um, and see what it looks like. So this is one side of the room. It looks so nice. I'm so happy with this shade of green. It's absolutely beautiful. And specifically, I love how the fixtures, like the doorknobs and the white of the door and then the green of the wall and like the border looks so nice together. It's such a pretty combination of colors. And like this color is so, like it's so bold, but also just so calming and relaxing and like look at look at it with the hardware right there 
I just love the combination of colors. It's so pretty. It just really fits our aesthetic. I am going to change the curtains. I don't really care for this shade of gray um, with the room because it's almost like a blue gray and I just have them tied up right there to try to keep it um, away from the paint. But um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to, I'm thinking like black, white and greenish sort of accents. Maybe some gray, but not this shade of gray because this is like, like I said, this is a blue gray. It doesn't really look like that in the camera in the camera but it definitely is so here's another wall and it looks really great this is the rest of the room that i need to paint and honestly it's sorry that the, the focus is being weird it's a lot of like it's a lot of space but it's going to be a lot of like rolling with the with the brush instead of like the small like um painting that you have to do in sections like this over here so i think it's going to go a little quicker that's my hope um, and again, I have this one tied up over here as well, just to try to keep it out of the way. This paint is absolutely amazing. So I do have a bit more to do over here, but that's something I'm going to work on later. And yeah, that is everything. So that's it for part one of the spare bedroom makeover. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying these types of videos, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this new paint color and also even just leaving like an emoji or a smiley face or um, just a hello in the comments is really helpful. Um, it lets in, it lets YouTube know that um, people are watching my video and it helps my, more people to see my videos. So um, any engagement on the video is absolutely amazing. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.